a little bit differently today let's see whether i can actually turn this around there we are yeah i had to film this a little bit differently today because the box again like the angels are a little bit big sorry i couldn't get back to the second unboxing which is the power of the moon which i'm now doing um the tower of the owls uh cards came in and i just had to unbox them because Obviously, if you've seen the film now, um, that was a very exciting deck for me to get. Very exciting deck for me to get. So, I'm now going to unbox this um, box. I got it from the range, I think, in... Um, in... So I forgot to, forgot to light my joystick. Lost, light, lighted all my candles and forgot to light my joystick. Hang on one moment while I just blow that out. Right. So yeah, I got these out of the range in um, Norwich. Yes. And they both candles gone out. What is going on today? Nothing wants to light today. Light. Be lit. Be seen. Be shone. So, I've got all my candles lit. I've got all my joysticks lit. I've got a cinnamon joystick lit. Things are going a bit tits up today. Anyway, back to where I was. Yeah, so I purchased these, they were £5 in, um, Norwich, the range, yes, right, so, um, this is the box, it has a moon crystal in it just there, it has a few of the cards there, this is what the box, entire box, looks like. I'll try and get a side view for you. Having to be a little bit careful so I don't burn the box on the... So that's the box. And then, like the other one, there's a description of the box with the moonstone that you get and the book um, and the animals. And uh, it says, the magical influence of the tides and waters has made a symbol of fertility, rejuvenation and wild natural power for thousands of years now with the gorgeous kit you can discover more about this bewitching celestial body and its natural energies to impact on your life learn how to harness the power of the moon phases um, of optimal well-being and um, and forward the um, special step-by-step -step guide to completing a range of magical projects, including painting a lunar garden and creating a lunar transman. The twenty, uh, the sixty-four page book also explores a fantastic lunar pack and Legends Moon uh, 
de deities, angels, and animal totems, the lunar astrology, numerology, and candles. That's probably where my candles are playing up today. Including 26 featuring lunar um, affirmations and beautiful photographies, as well as a beautiful inspired stone, which um, is perfect kit for those intuited by the power of the moon. So there we are, guys. So now I'm going to try and unbox it the best I can. I think I'll try and get the candle out, uh, candle, the um, crystal out first. So I'm just going to turn my camera off and play around with the box and try and get this out as best as I can. Right, guys. So this is what it looks like out of the box. You have your cards in the middle, the book. And then the little stone here, if you can see it. So I'm just going to undo that and take the card out and place the, the stone near my candles. So these are the cards. I have looked in the cards and I think I really do like the cards, actually. I think I like these ones better than the angel ones however looking back at the angel ones when i unboxed them last time i was really 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 getting into them so we'll take a look at those cards in a minute i'm now going to have a look at the book and we'll take this a bit away so this is the book Again, it's very much like that. I mean, come on. The photos are just superb. And they give you the um, phases of the moons where it's dark, uh, waxing, wa uh, waxing crescent, waxing full moon, waning, waning. But what I'd like to know is when do you manifest in and when do you manifest out? And I think the waning moon is manifesting in. The waxing moon is manifesting out, I think. But then they've got the north node and the south node. <laughs> so it's a bit complicated than, than people think. An introduction, so I'll have to read that when i'm because i want to learn more about the moon and what a beautiful picture moon facts lunar moon cycles myths and legends about the moon moon goddess Um, I've got a lot of reading to do, guys. Um, healings, angel healings with the moon. Um, animals with the moon. There we are, animals with the moon. So it's going through the cards now and the astrological signs. The moons through the astrological signs. So, what time of years they should be coming out in the festivals? This is a really good book to learn from if you want to learn about the moons. Moon and women and that's what I was just going to say. Does your... Now, men, I know you're not going to like this, but women, 
Does your mood and period affect you around a moon cycle? Do you know when you're coming on during a moon cycle? I I usually know come on when it's a full moon. It seems to me I normally come on now when it's a full moon because I did it last month as well. So men, I do apologise, but women, you'll get know what I mean. I'm a very open book, men. I'm, I'm, I am an open book. So if me talking about a female cycle offends you, I do apologise. But I, I am an open book when it comes to to things. Um, I do keep some things to myself on this channel, like my opinions, political opinions. I've, I've just done one film that I've tried to be politically correct with, and probably not, but I mean, I don't want to... How can I put this? I want to cater for everybody. I know you can't all the time. So sometimes on the channel, I do have to sort of like be non-judgmental and I try and come across as non-judgmental. However, my opinions, I will try not to bring into on my YouTube channel. I just know certain people like certain things and if that's what they want to to know about, I will be gladly... There, it's not my place to judge what people like. So then we've got the flowers with the lunar moon. Water with the moons. Now, I do a lot of moon water. I like taking my water out into the moon and stuff like that. Plants. Um, moon and numerology. I'd like to get thingy into into play with. I love moon and astrology and star signs and tarot cards. I love all this kind of stuff. So this to me, tarot card of the moon. I'll tell you what I'm looking to do. I really want a tattoo with a mystical hand holding three um, cards. And if any tattooists can do this for me, I would love it. A mystical hand um, holding three tarot cards up. And the three tarot cards I want are the star, because I am Aquarius. The moon, my mum was Pisces, and the sun. But also a moon can mean cancer as well, which my husband is Cancerian. So, um, so, um, and Cancerian is a moon child. They, they waken at night. They really do waken at night. Um, karma in the moon. The talisman in the moon. How to work your moon crystal. How to work crystals during the moon. Moon and medicines. Yes, I when I do my moon water, um, sometimes I will put a tiny, tiny little bit of my moon water into my drinking water. And sometimes in my iron, I'll put a tiny little drop of moon water in my... Um, and in my washing when I'm washing cups and stuff I'll put a tiny little moon and it's supposed to help with um, reduced stress by, by the looks of the book uh, physical dreaming around the moon um, this is really interesting so I'll have to have a good read of that um, and once I like the um angel ones I'm, I'm i've got so much filming and so much reading up to do that i hope one day i get to read this and i come back to it and film it 
So right, I'm going to turn the film off here just for a minute so that I can sit down properly now and go through the actual 26 cards that we have here. Okay. So guys, I'm back now and I've I've made it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for us now. So yeah, I'm going to try and get on with the cards now. Um, oh, and I've forgotten the book of what I'm supposed to ask. Um, Daily Tower Girl, um, here's a story. Um, I went on to Daily Tower Girl um, live the other day and I asked her, did she have the Tower of the Owls? Did she purchase them? And she said, no, she wanted to purchase them. And I said to her that um, I've done an unboxing. And she said she was going to come on the channel. So um, that film has now gone up. I'm now filming another film. My next film, hopefully, I can tell you whether she, um, she actually watched or not. So I'm just going to turn this film off here and get my book of questions. Right, guys, I'm back again now, so I'm just going to now get these cards out. I've got my book now so that I can um, get, get this um, when I do a reading with them, I can, um, I can ask some questions like the Daily Tarot Girl does. I'm not very on point today, so I'm wondering whether, um, whether we're still in Mercury retrograde. So yeah, I don't know whether we're still in Mercury retrograde. We'll have to have to have a look there. So these are the backs, and I think the backs are absolutely beautiful. Um, card stock reasonably okay. Reasonably okay. They're a bit um, glossy. Um, and you always have the cards to tell you, uh, basically what, what they're used for and tools. So, so I'm going to take that off and now I'm going to walk through, through the cards. I'll try and find some moony kind of music to go over the top like I usually do. And I'll do what Kate does. Uh, I hope I haven't offended her by um by my last video. I hope no, I hope she uh, she wasn't offended. And if she's with us and subscribed to me today, hi Kate, hi Daily Tarot Girl. Her name is very good intuitive um tarot reader. If you want to go over to her channel, I do promote her, and she's brilliant at tarot readings. So I'm now going to get walk through the um the cards for you. So here we go. I do love the simplicity of these cards. There's just something about these cards I do like. At first glance, I like these as well. Whereas with the angel ones, I had to 
kind of learn to love them and I think I'm learning to love them now. I haven't used them since the unboxing. Uh, I would like to start using them. All saying, not as good as the Moonology cards. 4-4 four, four just come up then. But I love the simplicity of these ones. I love that they've got the, the star signs in these. Well, they have in the Moonology ones, but it's just the, the simplicity of these. I might start using these in my TikTok next year when I do my birthday TikToks for each star sign. So now we're getting on with the animals. Now this one, I know people are going to love, and I know my mum would have loved, and I love. So if you if you know what owls mean to me, you know me very well. And then the last, last card, and there we are. So what am they going to do? There's only 26 of them. I'm now going to shuffle them. Um, and I'm going to do the questions. But I might leave these for stuff like TikTok, which are quick to open. I mean, I might use them on here a bit, bit when I get used to them. But yeah, um... Yeah, I might start using these for my birthday TikToks and stuff like that on special occasions. So I'm just going to cleanse cards, see what they're like for shuffling. Oh, lovely to shuffle. Now, I've got quite big hands, but because there's not so many cards here, they are quite nice to shuffle. I ain't going to reverse them because I don't think they need reversing. So. Right, I think it's time now to keep shuffling and ask it my first question. So I'm just going to get my book out. Eh? 
So, what kind of tarot deck are you? What kind of tarot deck or oracle deck are you? Well, we know it's to do with the moon. When I get new cards, they sometimes really hard to um, align with my energy. I find it, oh, that one. I find it really hard to, that they want to align with my energy. Moon and Aquarius. <laughs> so you and I, the, with Aquarius, um, I get the feeling with this card, and it says here, it's time to rift for celebration, making the most of parties, gatherings, and other social opportunities. So yeah, an Aquarius card, full moon Aquarius, it's a more thoughtful kind of, it likes, I think, with Aquarius, Aquarius is into all sorts of things and can be all, in all over the place. Um, but I think as an Aquarian card as well, it doesn't like being told what to do. So 1010 10 just come up. And I would say it likes talking about completions. So I think this is... Um, these cards like to um, be about your thoughts and how to deal with those thoughts. And sometimes your thoughts, you don't always have to take action on. Like Aquarius, you can go into an opposite direction. Because if you don't know anything about, much about Aquarius, if you tell them to do one thing and you actually tell them, you demand it of them, yeah, they will go the opposite way and sort of like, nah. And you might have to be this same. They'll turn around and go, fuck you. I'm going the opposite way to what you want me to do. 11-11, new begins. Oh, hello, fly. I just uh, was drinking. And there's a little fly on my little drinky poos cup. Everybody say hello to the fly. Hello, fly. Come on. Where do you want to go? Yeah, you go on there. Don't go into my drink, please. So, yeah, where were we? <laughs> yeah, um... Oh, yeah, and Aquarius, is, if you like me, very easily distracted, which I don't think they like, these cards. I don't think they like you being easily distracted. All right, let's get another card out. And the next one is, what type of readings do you like being used for? What type of readings do you like being used for? That one was come out. Wolf! Do they like being held? Do they like howling at the moon? Be aware of letting your wild instinct spin out of control. So, they like to try and keep control. <laughs> okay. 1313 13 just came out. They, they are a card that likes to take control. So, I get... The fact that I think they like to beat to their own drum, these cards. But when talking about stuff, 
You must stay in control of your environment while giving a reading. But they, they, it, it, it's very hard for to see Aquarians and then don't spin out of control. But mind you, an Aquarius is very confusing because we beat to our own drum, but at the same time we like control. We're a very confusing sign. So for this to come out, is telling me that they're, they're also trying to hone in the reading of being in control. They like to be in control of the reading. They like to be in control of the reading. And the next question is... Um, oh, be nice to me. What do you look for in a tarot or oracle reader? What do you look for in a tarot or oracle reader? Oh, that one came out. Half to full moon. Embrace high energies and momentum. Um, Momentums, momentum, momentum, I'm going to put momentum and energies will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. So um, I think they like to have a vi high vibe kind of tower reader. Yeah, so I think they like to have a high vibe um, tarot reader, which usually I do try and get in a high vibe state. Um, there's been some some tarot readings just lately where I've been in low vibes, but these cards like a high vibe reader. They like someone who's going to stay in control even when they're out of control, I think. So, <laughs> so um. This is a really... I, th I feel like these cards are telling me off. And in my little... Um, I just saw in my little uh, memory card there, it's 3333. Three, three, three. That might be a message. So I feel like the cards like to tell the tarot card readers off as well. So it's a very interesting read, these oracle cards. So I feel like um, they like to go with the Aquarius, where they like to beat to their own drum and do their own reading, but stay in control of that reading, yeah, and have a high vibrational tarot reader in it. So <laughs> I get the feeling that these old cards are telling me off and saying focus. And it's really funny because when I was preparing my candles, I'm doing a bit of a, a ritual here. It might not affect you guys. It might do. Um, so I've got three candles here. Um, I have one which is petunia and, or patchouli and amber, um, a yellow one here, which I think was mango, and so I just ripped joy in it, and a wooden one here to um, be on reflection and stuff like that. So I think they, I think what they're doing is mirror imaging back my um, rebelness and my kindness and telling me off when I need to be told off and telling me I'm on a good track when I'm on a good track. So, so right, guys, I'm going to leave this reading here with me being told off by the cards. <laughs> If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell on all, um, subscribe to me down here somewhere, I upload every Saturday, um, so if you like, like my content, please click that um, subscribe button. 
bring your family and friends along. Friends are very of fun. Yeah, family and friends along. And um, if you want to slip a comment, you can slip a comment. Be nice. Um, any comments that are not very nice, I will ignore and get rid of. Um, so yeah, we have a kind community um, here on my channel. That's what I want. A kind community. We're family here. Okay. So, yeah. All good people. See you guys. Bye. Bye.